wind is out in, in places where generally there aren't as many populated areas, so you have to build transmission to those places. And once the transmission's there, our, our wind farms are able to send the energy to the population centers where they're needed. And um, the more transmission there is, uh, the less congestion there is. We used to hear at Roscoe see curtailments quite heavily. And it was because the generation from wind had outgrown the transmission infrastructure. Basically, we had a lot of water with a little pipe. We couldn't get all the water out. And they actually put together a CRES program where it was a renewable energy zones that they put together and, and spent uh, about $6.8 billion adding about 18,000 megawatts of capacity. With the additions of all the new CRES lines, we have not suffered curtailment in a long time here. Actually, the new CRES lines allowed us to, to go and explore very high productive areas in the Panhandle around Amarillo. So we connected West Texas and the Panhandle into the rest of the grid, and that means wind development can take place in those areas, bringing, of course, with it economic development opportunities for that region of the state. The, the lines will have a good return on the investment for the state. The interesting thing is that we're almost full up on that new transmission line, so we're going to have to look at where we're going to go from here.